sent me a message first, yeah? I'll even spell it early on the board. The back and draw. I haven't been asked to make it past the Danny G. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking legs. You little prick. You're not know what you're saying. You're not know what you're fucking saying. <laughs> Nice. This is the beautiful beach of Redacted. I'm not gonna tell you where I live. You think I'm gonna tell you where I live? I'm staring directly at a brick someone has tied up with a string and has attached it to this weird World War II structure. There's also a man slowly approaching me on the other side of the beach that will murder me. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about this. This is, it looks like I'm pulling out a Bible. It looks like to this stranger, I am pulling out a Bible and I'm going to talk about my, this is my Bible. Three different things. It contains the Lost Warrior, uh, Warrior's Refuge, re, re, Refuge, <laughs> and Warrior's Return. All of them contain the word Warrior and all of them focus on the plot of Greystripe. A cat that went missing after, before sunset, if I remember. Uh, he was a deputy of Thunder Clan. It, why am I exp You know who Greystripe is, okay? He went missing just before sunset? It was before I started existing and before I started just reviewing things. Because these books came out in like 2003, so really we have no clue. Um, we're about to get a stranger in the background of these videos, and I am going to feel so awkward in a few minutes. <laughs> so I might as well make it quick. So, uh, this takes place on... It's basically where he went. It's his kind of little diary. At least it's weirdly paced at the beginning and end in third person, so it feels like he's telling you the story of where he was. Basically, uh, where'd he go whenever he got catnapped, kidnapped, catnapped by the people just before they went on the long journey to the uh, forest at the beginning. Um, this is broken into three separate parts. It was three separate mangas and then they kind of, um, he's not, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> we've gone to three different mangas, uh, which are all released at different dates. And this book right here is the kind of collection of it. Uh, look at that and not the man in the background. Uh, I don't want to- <laughs> He thinks I'm insane. He's going to kill me. Um, he already thinks I'm a nut dog. A man on the beach. Recording himself. Um, unfortunately. But it's fine. <laughs> I do this for a living. So, basically... <laughs> okay, he's gone. Whatever. Okay, we can be a degenerate again. So, this book is split into three different parts, and the first part is, um, what's it called again? A uh, Lost Warrior, and basically starts off pretty much a flashback to how he got captured way before sunset, and basically shows him waking up in this kitty pet home, and shows that he was taken by like an animal rescue thing, and was brought in by humans that just love him which is so inconvenient god they're so loving and nice um and it actually kind of shows him struggling he's almost got like um stockholm syndrome funny enough i'm going to stockholm and i'm gonna get that that syndrome so it shows him kind of trying to escape casually but it kind of overwhelming him and him going back to his humans and after a while of kind of pushing and you know, I'm gonna do it, and then running back in fear, and then going back and forth. He eventually meets this cat, Millie, um, which is a kitty pet, and he basically tells her everything. And it's actually a really cute, like, kind of story of, um, you would think at the beginning she's only really interested to be polite, but she's really interested in these stories. She's interested about what the clan is, she's interested in his life back before he was kidnapped. And it's a really kind of cute dynamic. It, it's really sweet, actually. It, it's really, really sweet. <laughs> um, and it actually takes some time to kind of get to know them. And eventually, Greystripe has a dream about Silverstream. 
and it kind of, it doesn't show you this. I'm assuming it kind of happens in between, but he already knows that the clan has left the forest to find a new home. Um, I don't know how he figured that one out. I'm guessing they told him um, because when he meets uh, Silverstream and he meets Fevertail in Star Clan, he's not surprised that she's dead. So I'm assuming he's already aware of the situation. He eventually goes to Millie to talk about uh, leaving and getting her to help to find the clan. And eventually she, she says no uh, at the beginning and he tries to find his way himself. He ends up going in circles continuously, practically starving himself until eventually Millie finds him again. And the two of them just, oh, their relationship's so cute. It's such a, like, you can tell that she's actually interested in him, very much interested in his, like, past and what he believes in, and she's very much longing for that kind of purpose in her life, um, which she seems to get from Greystripe. And chapter one ends with them two walking out, getting ready to find Thunderclan. It's a very simplistic beginning, but I wanted to make part per thing. Uh, at the moment I just started chapter two or whatever so um, the warriors refuge, I don't know what that word means, uh, will be coming next so yeah that's part one of Grey Stripe. God, when you do when you do the dramatic walk off, you actually have to come back to get the equipment. <laughs> it ruins it, doesn't it? Like lucky you'll you'll never see this part. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> 